A listener in Florida heard a frightening sermon on Hebrews chapter 6. The speaker said that a person who was saved and backslid into sin could not be saved again. She wants to know Dr. McGee's view on this. Well, I would say that if you lose your salvation, you couldn't get it again. But my friend, if you got it one time, you didn't lose it. If you were saved, you are saved. And it may not be wonderful now if you're in a backslidden condition, but if you were saved, you are saved. And if your faith was in Christ and in the fact that he died for you as a sinner, rose again to give you a righteousness and standing before God, then you are a saved person. You can be sure of that. And the very fact that you came back to God after you backslid is a pretty good proof, I would say, that you are a child of God. Because I don't think an unsaved person would have had a desire to come back. And whether you went to church or not it would have nothing to do with your salvation. If you are saved, you'd want to go to church. If you're not saved, of course you wouldn't. And I wouldn't let a message on Hebrews 6 disturb me because of the fact that Hebrews 6 hasn't anything in the world to do with your particular case. Hebrews 6 is where he's talking to saved people about the possibility of losing their reward, not their salvation. It is possible that you may not get a reward, and there will be many believers that will not get a reward. Paul speaks of them, that they built with wood, hay, and stubble. Every man's works will be tested by fire. He's not tested himself by fire, but his works are to see whether he'll receive a reward. Now, if they're consumed, wood, hay, and stubble will go up. There'll be no reward, and Paul says that, but he himself will be saved. There'll be many people in heaven that will not get a reward at all because of the fact that they only built with wood, hay, and stubble down here. But that hasn't anything to do with your salvation at all.